Today's top story preparing for positive COVID-19 cases in the classroom. We brought you breaking news last night after a student at Greenfield Central Junior High tested positive on the first day. The Hancock County Health Department told us today it worked with school officials to put their response plan into action. Thanks for joining us first at four. I'm Ray Cordopassi and I'm Bearshaw Edmay. Now Fox 59's Darius Johnson joining us live in the newsroom to show us the steps the school took right away. Yeah, good afternoon, Ray and Beer Shell. The school was not willing to reveal exactly how many people may have been exposed to the student who tested positive, but we're told those who were exposed were not at school today. Instead, they were at home in quarantine for the next 14 days, and school officials say a case like this was only a matter of time. There's no way that you can completely keep that out of a school corporation with 4,400 kids, or even if you have 300 kids in a school, you're likely going to have it at some point. The fourth school district to open in central Indiana this week already has a student who tested positive for COVID-19. A Greenfield Central Junior High School student who was awaiting results tested positive. Superintendent Dr. Harold Olin says their plan was immediately put in place. We immediately pull that student from class. We isolate them in a specific place in the, the clinic, get the kid home. We start doing contact tracing, which means we go to those teachers, we get a, a seating chart, we find out who is in a close proximity to them. And I use that term close proximity. It means within six feet for 15 minutes or longer. And that's why I was really hesitant to send my children back to begin with. Patricia Wood's daughter is an eighth grade student who is part of the 15% in the district participating in virtual learning at home. I mean, it, it was really a no brainer for me. You know, like I said, the numbers have just gone up so fast in the last couple weeks. The Hancock County Health Department says your child should not be attending school if they have COVID symptoms. Been tested and are awaiting results, been in direct contact or around someone who is tested positive or has a fever of 99.5 degrees. I mean, not only are you risking your family, but you're risking everybody else's family as well and it's just not worth it. Superintendent Olin says some families requested to keep their kids home after learning of the positive case. We want to work with families. We are here to serve this community. For us to maintain this long term, we just need to make sure that that kids are coming to us healthy. I, I do think that they're handling it as best as they can. And the superintendent says if a student misses classes due to COVID, they do have the option to do virtual learning at home. Now, if you don't do that virtual learning or show up in person, it will be counted as an excused absence, but the student will have that extra time to complete the work that they missed. Reporting in the newsroom this evening, Darius Johnson, Fox 59 News. All right, Darius.